All right, we're back with the adorable, talented, so cool Jacqueline Dima. And um, I mean, I haven't seen you in ages. I know. You're so, is she the cutest thing or what? I feel like putting her in my pocket. You're like, you're like a Polly Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you remind me of. Oh, yeah, I, I never thought of you as that until right now. Polly Pocket? Yeah. Cool. But when you sing, you're definitely not a Polly Pocket. That's true. Yeah. That would be bad. I, I'd be a silly goose. I don't know. So what's going on in your exciting life? A lot. Oh, let me hear. Let me hear. Um, okay, so I've been playing with all these new boys, right? Well, I've been with them for a little bit now. I haven't seen them forever. But um, this band is freaking amazing. Oh, we are so much you. fun. And um, we're holding auditions for a guitar player on um, Monday. And we're going to try to add a horn section to a couple songs. Like, this thing is huge. It's blowing up. Yeah, and it's but like, you actually are a trained opera singer, isn't that I true? Used to be an opera singer. So you have, like, what it takes to be professional. You have the training. I so why is it shocking to you that you would have a band of amazing people because backing you up? Because it took so long, Ray. Like, seriously, I felt like... Yeah, honey, honey, honey. I don't see one wrinkle. It didn't take that long. <laughs> <laughs> no. I keep saying that. My yeah. birthday's in three weeks. I'm freaking oh, out. I'm yeah. birthday in two weeks. Three weeks. When's your birthday? July 19th. July 19th. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to be, like, 24? Don't say me too. No, I said... Yeah, Her oh. tomorrow, July Happy 7th. Birthday. The bartender, Lainey Ford's Happy birthday is today. Her oh. birthday was last month. Mine was Monday. Right. Was His was Monday. Monday. Yeah, we, yeah, we played at this party. Yes. July 4th. And mm -hmm. today's the Dalai Lama's birthday. Today's the Dalai Lama's birthday. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, back to you. So, um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that amazing oh, people will be working with you what? because when you sing, it, you, it's just, it's mind blowing. Okay. So, but I just feel like I dealt with so many assholes. Well, you will. Well, I guess so. <laughs> but that won't stop. I guess There's so. more. Don't worry. Yeah. But, you know, but you get the good stuff along yeah, with. Like, I love these people I'm playing with. I have two girlfriends singing back up with me. So I'm how many people are in the band? It, uh, it's six right now. So two backup singers and, that, and we're trying to add a, a horn trio just for a couple songs. So it'll be like nine. And <laughs> when are you playing? I don't know yet. So you're still just, in the stages of yeah, developing. Yeah, my drummer's trying to get us some stuff in Brooklyn, which I've never really played Brooklyn before. So Brooklyn, know. overseas. It's right. Overseas. overseas. It is overseas. It's, it's far. It's far, because we are in the 212 mm -hmm. area code, yeah. and um, Brooklyn is 718. That's it's a big jump. Oh. And what? It's that island. It's and island. Bronx, but it's like, you know, it's not 212. But back, all right, so wait. so. Have you been recording? Like, no, we're didn't going you win to... something? Like, didn't something come I up? Wish. You didn't yeah, win. Oh, yeah, there was that. No, I didn't win. But what, we were this, close, right? It, yeah. Is anyone here on rstage.com? If you get on rstage.com, yeah. you enter contests and stuff. And I got up to like second place. I got yeah, you got like really, really second close. Second place and some stuff. It was like a little fair contest and a blues contest and. And stuff. I've been like in second, third place. In the That's pretty TV. amazing. Everybody should get on it because it's really cool and there's a judging process and everyone. Do you have to get people to vote, like your friends to vote, or no, other no, people no, no. vote? It's it's a situation where um, it's a judging process. Like four songs will pop up and then you rate it one, two, three, four. What you like the best and least, and then it like you know, it just does that. You get really addicted. And oh really? So it's another addiction type thing. Mm -hmm. Great. Isn't that something you need? Another addition? Oh, yeah, man. I, I've got just enough room for one more addition. Yeah, that's a good song. That's a good song. I might have to steal this whole concept. Yeah. Facebook yeah. owns it. So back. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Just room for one more addiction. If you had a choice to pick one more addiction, Jackie, what would it be? One more addiction? Yeah. If I could pick one more addiction. Yeah. What would be your ultimate chosen addiction. Just working out. Really? I wish I could. I used to be addicted to it and I haven't so long. I got addicted to it. That's just thing. That's some fried chicken. That's some fried chicken there. Come on. That's not an addiction you want to have. That gym is like the addiction that you know you have to do, but it's like, ugh. I think it's more fun to go to classes, like do good classes and things. Yeah, classes. because like I, I shouldn't even say it, but like you know what's really good? There's like exercise TV 
That you can get addicted to. You can do it in your podcasts own. Podcasts and stuff. It's real, I don't know if they're podcasts, but I just friended like my teacher from Exercise TV today on Facebook. <laughs> that is silly, That's right? Awesome. Yeah, it's a so skeleton. Cool. You want some chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go work out. Oh, no. <laughs> did he fried chicken? So um, we're going to take a quick break and then come back and listen to you play, and then you'll share a skeleton from your closet and all the other shout outs that you can't wait to tell this world. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, so let's set you up. I'll give up my mic. Grab my shot. <laughs> 